Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for reading. And you remember, way back a long time ago, last week, you chose to be in reading groups based on your um, the topic that you chose. So like extreme sports and plastic water bottles and that sort of thing. And so you'll see on the Canvas page today, right underneath this video, is where the uh, list is. So if you've forgotten, there's your reminder. And what you're going to be doing today is you're going to start doing some preliminary research about your issue or topic so that you can come up with your own opinion. So remember, when you start your research, you want to be a blank slate. You want to be open-minded to both sides. Even though right now you may already have a gut feeling that you're leaning towards yes or no to that question, you want to be open to the possibility that you're going to change your mind. Hopefully you received uh, this handout and this handout for your notebooks. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in in your notebooks. I'm going to talk about this one first and then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. But what I want you to think about is that um, when you're writing to take notes about a topic or finding out more information for an issue, you're writing to reflect. And you know, we start off in fourth grade and maybe before that, but learning how to take notes. And we're really focused on writing down all of the details. And that's true. And that's still a really important part of researching and writing. But you also have to keep in mind that you should always be reflecting. You're writing to reflect, not just writing down facts. So as you're writing something down, you shouldn't just be copying it because you know it's important. You should be thinking about it. It should be going through your brain and then coming out as information that you can use, not just a straight fact. The other thing that I want to talk about is that research is a cycle. You know, you start researching and you have maybe one or two questions, and then by the end of it, you end up with more questions than you had answers, and then you read something else and you learn more, and you read something else and you've got new questions, and that's kind of how it is. Even experts still have questions in their field. So because I'm not here today, we're not going to really get into a lot of other things, but I'm going to do some example work next week so that we can practice this together in a better way. But for today, I want you to be thinking about these things as you're asking your questions. So before you start your research today, think of some things that you really would like to know about your topic or your issue, and then write those down. And then as you're working, see if you can use these questions to help you. Particularly, you can always use these two. What are the surprising things about this? And how does this connect to what I already know? So if you're writing down a note, or a fact, or a statistic, or a quote, or anything like that, you should be asking yourself, so what? Why did I write this down? I wrote it down because it's important, okay? But why is it important? So I want you to really be thinking about your note taking. Note taking as a way to reflect on the topic, not note taking as a way to just jot down every single fact. The other handout that I want you to think about today is thinking and wondering in response to reading. And this is the same kind of thing. You aren't just writing down facts. You should be thinking about it as you're writing. So what I want you to do in your notes today is I want you to stop every so often and ask yourself, to use at least one of these stems and jot it down. I wonder if I'm realizing it must have been. So you're, you're writing down factual information, but at the same time, you're processing it. Because when you're reading it the first time, that's the best time to be applying it to new information, connecting it to old information, developing new questions and new connections. You can't just write down facts and then later on come back to it and then start thinking about how it's going to be used. It's easier to think about how you can use it to begin with. So as you're working today, you're going to be working by yourself. I know you have a group and you will start working in your group soon, but today you're going to be working by yourself. And there are some books in the front of the room in the two bins next to the fan underneath the Promethean board. And I made some collections in Epic. So you'll need to go to Epic and find the appropriate collection. So that's where you'll be getting your information. So today is just a day where you are taking notes on the topic that you've been assigned. 